Alright guys, this is part 13 of the 2J porting series. This is getting long now. Um, we're just going to the final polish stage, so we're actually going to use the polishing bobs. So, what have we got? These little Scotch Bright pads. This is a coarse pad. We'll just finish it with a coarse. It seems to get a uh, fairly good texture for what we're doing here. You can do a four stage, but uh, to be quite honest, there's really not a lot of benefit for most um, street engines. If it was an all-out race car, we might uh, spend a little bit more time on it. But for 90% 90, 90 of jobs, basically your, your three stage on the exhaust is fine. So cutter, sand, and then straight into uh, the coarse, um, what we call cross buffs, um, and just use the, the long arbor. As again, pretty straightforward. You're not going to take any material off with this. Uh, you pretty much fly blind. Um, just keep it moving in and out of the port, um, and you'll be fine. Uh, again, I run these about 11,000 RPM, which is which is tons. Any more, and they start to um, burn up. So you just you end up putting too much heat in. So I'll show you where we're at, and uh, go from there. If you like these series, guys, give us a thumbs up, a comment. Um, if I get some other different model heads, I might try and do a series on each different model head. So. Uh, this is the VVTi. I'll do a, a GE. We'll do the GTE. We'll do some of the um, RB series, maybe the 30s, the 25s, the 26s, the Neos, uh, some of the SR stuff, uh, some of the CA stuff, some of the 1ZZ stuff. We do maybe some more on the Honda, uh, and we can go a little bit deeper into it at a later stage. Um, and maybe we'll do a little series on on the math, so you guys can do some calculations and I can teach you how to target that cross-sectional area a little easier. All right. All right, so with these guys, we're gonna use a little bit of pressure and just work the areas that you need to. Go right up as close to the guides as you can. Keep, keep the piece uh, moving and try and just create a nice consistent pattern in the port itself. Uh, they, these are pretty pretty easy to use but you definitely want to use these before uh, you cut valve seats or anything like that especially going into the bowl because uh, it can tend to round your valve seats and as most would probably know now uh, the whole radius valve seat uh, style went out maybe you know, 20 years ago now so we, we need nice edges on our valve seats uh, and there it is there. It needs a little bit more work, but that, that'll give you the idea. And I'll show you it. Um, uh, there we go. There's another one. So we'll just go right through front to back now. Uh, finish all the polishing off. Uh, and it's pretty much ready uh, to get some valve seats and get on with it. And there it is, guys. That's pretty much it. You can see we've got a nice, nice uh, polished finish here on all the exhaust ports. Uh, and the shape come up not too bad. Remember that divider, we want a little bit of flatness on it. We don't want the divider sharp in the exhaust because we don't want to melt it. Remember aluminium melts at around that 660 degrees uh, and our exhaust temps can be, you know, 800 plus. So I uh, definitely want a little bit of mass left in there. Anyway, there it is.